Good morning. Every community owes its existence and vitality to generations from around the world who contributed their hopes and labor to making the history that led to this moment. Some were brought here against their will, some were drawn to leave distant homes in hope of a better life, and some are indigenous to this land. Truth and acknowledgement are critical to building mutual respect and connection across all barriers of heritage and difference. We begin this effort by honoring the truth and paying tribute through a formal land acknowledgement. As we begin this convocation in Manhattan, we are standing on the ancestral lands of the Lenape people. We pay respect to their elders, past and present. Please take a moment to consider the many legacies of displacement, migration, and settlement that bring us together here today at NYU and New York City. Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and congratulations to the class of 2022. Round of applause. My name is John White, and I'm the Associate Dean of Students here in Global Liberal Studies. And the first order of today will be to introduce our Dean. Dean Julie Mostov joined NYU in August of 2017 as the first woman Dean of Liberal Studies, bringing years of experience in global engagement, a deep grounding in the liberal arts, and a commitment to interdisciplinary research and teaching. A political theorist by training, Dean Mostov is a well-known scholar on Southeastern Europe, having completed her first graduate degree from the University of Belgrade and her PhD in politics from right here at NYU. Her research explores notions of soft borders and transnational citizenship and focuses on the politics of national identity, sovereignty, citizenship, and gender. She's published numerous scholarly articles and books including Power, Process, and Popular Sovereignty and Soft Borders, Rethinking Sovereignty and Democracy all important themes nowadays. Without further ado, I invite Dean Julie Mostov. Whoops. <laughs> Congratulations, everybody, and welcome. hear that another time. Congratulations. <laughs> yes, that's what I wanted from the class of 2022. It is a great joy to celebrate your graduation from GLS and NYU today. I am so thrilled that we are here in person on this beautiful day. Later, we will march through the park, and tomorrow we will be in Yankee Stadium. Congratulations. It <laughs> it's been tough, but you made it. It's been challenging, exciting, and an uncharted journey through the pandemic, on the square, abroad, and on Zoom. You've embraced New York City and the cities across NYU's global network, on the ground, and from your computer screens. You transformed your experiences into impressive academic and personal achievements and distinguished yourself by your resilience in the face of adversity and by your creativity, intellectual capacity and curiosity, and undaunted passion. That is, undaunted by the COVID pandemic, you protested and spoken out on critical issues, listened and engaged with ideas different from your own, and searched for innovative solutions to wicked problems. You've learned to question and to expand your horizons, 
to experiment, to fail and start again, and to transform opportunities into celebrated outcomes. You've uncovered meaning in complex texts, interrogated entrenched systems of oppression, and explored new technologies. You've proposed original readings, imagined new worlds, and found your own creative platforms. You struggled through difficult moments and succeeded in going beyond your own expectations finding strengths and talents that you didn't know you had. Our gathering in celebration today is bittersweet as we continue to witness the consequences of the pandemic, the outbreak of new wars and continued racial and ethnic hate speech and violence, and attacks on basic civil, political, and human rights, punctuated by the killings this past weekend in a supermarket in Buffalo. But I have deep faith in you as GLS alumni, well, soon to be alumni, as interpreters of these global challenges and as leaders, each in your own ways in addressing these challenges. Global, interdisciplinary, and engaged, you are scholars, writers, and creatives committed to making our world a better place. I am so impressed with the work you have done, your knowledge, deep insights, critical perspectives, imagination, sensitivity, and humor. I know that wherever you go, from New York and cities and sites across the globe, you will draw on your GLS studies and experiences, setting you apart from other graduates, and find success however you define it. Indeed, it's exciting to think about where this GLS path will take you as you continue your journeys Please take with you the wisdom of your professors, the laughter you have shared with your friends and classmates, the experiences you have gained from completing your theses, internships, and classes, yes, while battling a pandemic, and the lessons that you have learned from persevering. Please keep your GLS passion, curiosity, and concern for others alive, and make the most of all the experiences that come your way, and then seek more. Finally, please keep us posted and come back often. Congratulations to the parents, guardians, partners, guests, and friends. You have all made this journey a very special one. Congratulations to the class of 2022, and see you in Yankee Stadium. And now I have the incredible honor of introducing Andrew Hamilton, the 16th president of New York University. He previously served as the vice chancellor of Oxford University, the university's senior officer. After an academic career that took him from Princeton to the University of Pittsburgh, we won't talk about the Steelers here, and then to Yale, where he was provost. Throughout this time in academic leadership positions, he has maintained his scholarly work, including an active research laboratory, which he continues to do at NYU as a distinguished chemist and a fellow of the Royal Society. 
we are honored to have him here with us today, President Hamilton. Dean Mostoff, thank you very much indeed for that introduction. And to all of you, graduates, GLS graduates of the class of 2022, congratulations to every one of you. Well done. It, it, is, it is so wonderful to be here on this glorious sunny day with you all. My wife Jenny is here as well. We could not be more thrilled. We could not be more thrilled. And let me, let me compliment all of the GLS graduates of 2022. You look magnificent. Your gowns, your caps, you look really spectacular. And I don't know about you, whenever I'm on a stage like this, I always feel the urge to channel my inner Beyonce. And, and to show off my threads. <laughs> and you, you look equally magnificent. We are here today. We are celebrating in style and most importantly, after two and a half long years, we are celebrating in person. Well done, everyone. <laughs> Global Liberal Studies, this is a magnificent school. You've had a wonderful year. Students, faculty, alumni across all of the fields of study that comprise Global Liberal Studies, you have been remarkably productive and successful. You've won an impressive array of awards, of scholarships, of research grants this year including United Nations Millennium Fellowships, Critical Language Scholarships, and Fulbright Awards. Your class, class of 2022, your class also saw the first graduate in GLS's joint major with NYU Global Public Health, a critical interdisciplinary partnership, especially now in the wake of this pandemic. And your class, remain steadfast in your commitment to broadening and deepening its worldview and its understanding of global impact. The many challenges that the world currently faces, you, GLS graduates, are prepared to play your role in helping to solve those challenges. Your studies took you across cultures, across borders and boundaries, whether they be geographical or whether they be academic and disciplinary. This period of study that you've had at GLS have allowed you to approach your studies from unique and differing perspectives. The range and the breadth of your achievements underscore your talents and your endeavors to think critically and broad-mindedly about our complex and our interconnected world. Class of 2022, you have so much to be proud of. You are graduating from GLS with a degree in cross-disciplinary liberal arts. You are receiving it from a world-class premier research university in NYU. And class of 2022, as Dean Mostoff said, you have achieved your goals despite being confronted by some of the most difficult, some of the most arduous challenges that any student in the history of NYU has ever faced you should take great pride from everything you've achieved. But you've done even more than that, class of 2022. Every single one of you has made the NYU community better by being part of it. You've contributed 
in academic ways, you've contributed in your participation in extracurricular activities, be they music, be they sports, be they clubs of many different kinds. You've made this place better. So I have a charge for you today, and that charge is wherever your path takes you after graduation, whichever community you decide to join in the coming months and years, make it better. Find ways, small or big, to make it more welcoming, more just, more expansive, and more engaged. If you do that, if you keep doing that, your impact as NYU GLS alumni will be magnificent and it will be unstoppable. And so class of 2022, here you are graduating from GLS this morning and then tomorrow it's on to Yankee Stadium and the weather is gonna be even better tomorrow. And someone very special <laughs> is going to be getting a degree to tomorrow. I wonder who that is. Who is going to be getting a degree tomorrow? Someone very special. No. No. Not Taylor Swift. She's not bad, but the star of tomorrow's show will be you. Every single one of you. Every single one of you deserves to be there, just as Taylor deserves to be there, but so do you for all of your hard work, all of your achievements, and all of the things that we know you are going to contribute to the world. And so, on behalf of the entire NYU community, it's my immense pleasure to wish you GLS graduates of 2022 our heartiest congratulations and best, best wishes for the future. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, President Hamilton. Let's hear it again for him. Next up in today's ceremony is the valedictorian address. I would now like to invite Devin Speak, one of this year's GLS co-valedictorians, up to the podium to deliver his address. We're very proud of him. Devin? Hi. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna let you guys know that my entire time here at NYU, I never procrastinated on anything uh, until it came time to practice the speech. So we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, first and foremost, congratulations to the Global Liberal Studies Class 2022. Uh, good morning to the deans and faculty and a very warm welcome to all the friends and family in attendance. Let's give it up, thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Devin. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm basically just the kid that talked way too much in class. And for those of you who do, you only have to listen to me for about another four to five minutes. I promise. Uh, <laughs> before I got to NYU, I really just got slapped in the face by life from the outset. Um, I am a descendant of the legendary Mississippi Delta poverty. Uh, I am the incredibly proud son of a teenage single mother exotic dancer. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, at some point along the way, I ended up in the military. Nobody really saw that coming. Uh, <laughs> this is all to see. <laughs> Thanks. It was the Coast Guard though, so not really. Uh, <laughs> this is all to say that I wasn't exactly the university type. 
but that's precisely why I found my way here to GLS. Uh, I was fascinated by what was going on around me, and I strive for a place to explain it all, to contextualize it. I chose GLS because it's fundamentally a place of connecting with the world in a way that no other could match. Uh, <laughs> told you. <laughs> it explores the world indiscriminately with a sense of purpose and meaning. All of the graduates here today have uncovered a profound appreciation for every detail of life that will guide them from this moment on. But more than just feeding curiosity, today's graduates are upholding GLS's incredibly strong legacy of service to communities from the local to the global. Our thesis topics absolutely glittered the academic spectrum, exploring everything from labor exploitation in Italian fashion and the sexualization of peoples of color in art, to queer identity in the Big Easy and diplomacy and conflict resolution in Central and Eastern Asia. I can only imagine that this dedication was influenced by the loving families and friends who sit amongst us today. This was, of course, then shaped and fostered by our incredible faculty and staff. Let me be the first to say that all of your efforts are recognized and appreciated. Thank you for enduring the headaches and frustrations that we no doubt put you all through. But I would be remiss to gloss over the fact that, as you all know, this is a scary world. It is no small feat which you, each and every one of you, from students to faculty to family, have accomplished during such tumultuous times. You have found motivation in the darkest trenches of the 21st century, in the wreckage of a global pandemic, in an absolute climate crisis, violent conflict at home and abroad. I commend you all, I thank you all, for retaining your sense of curiosity and ambition, even if at times you may have felt it wane. I assure you that you will find ways to utilize these adversities to become the best of us. And I wish I could at least say that we graduates can now rest and recruit, but urgency beckons at every front. You will be challenged and perhaps demoralized at times. However, I reassure you that all the weight of the world does not rest on your shoulders alone. You stand to face these global challenges not just with your peers here today, but hand in hand with your neighbors, with indigenous communities, with the trans and queer community, with black women, with unionized laborers, with sex workers. You stand with these communities and you have the responsibility to listen to them, to learn from them, and to work alongside them towards a better future for all of us. As author, as author Robin Wall Kimmer has said, leadership is rooted not in power and authority, but in service and wisdom. This is how we will craft a future that we are proud of. This is how you will excel as leaders, by taking up the causes of those around you with an invulnerable sense of integrity. I implore you, I beg of you, that moving forward, you do not become complicit in the institutions built on the backs of the marginalized and working class poor. I am nowhere near someone worth quoting, so I will leave you with a quote from someone more accomplished than I could ever hope to be. He has inspired presidents and children alike, spoken before Congress and TED audiences, and is the star of a beloved TV show. Kermit the Frog reminds us <laughs> <laughs> to never worry about failure. It's going to happen. But that's OK. Go ahead, take chances. And you might just find that what feels like failure isn't failure at all. It's what inspires you to dream even bigger. Once again, congratulations and thank you. Another round of applause for Devin. You see why I'm so impressed and have so much faith in the liberal studies students. GLS graduates have our role models for the rest of your generation. 
And now to say a little bit more about your honors. I do want to call out some of the honors that our students have gathered this year, but there are so many more that I won't be able to mention, but I do want to give these, share these today. So, just to let you know, we have two valedictorians. We couldn't take them apart. In every way, they were at the top of the top. That is Rachel Mormon Minton, who gave us the land acknowledgement today, and Devin Speed. Let's hear it for them. We have the winner of the Schwarzbach Global Impact Award, Eugene Zhang. And Community Leadership Awards, Anna Hackel and Carolyn Vaca. Now, as everybody knows here, our students all do original research or creative work for their senior thesis. And that is really the capstone of all their brilliant professors have, in, uh, in, in, have brought to them throughout these years. So I'm going to go through some of these awards. And, um, and I will just read some of the titles, that is the, the winners in each category. Uh, so for the overall best thesis for scholarly thesis, we have Maura Grace Dun Duncan? Durkin. Durkin, oh, I'm so sorry, Durkin, I apologize. <laughs> need to get new glasses. The title is Made in Italy by China, Human Impacts of Globalization on the Modern Garment Production in Prato, P part of the new Xi concentration with the thesis director, Professor Jenny Naro Maciel. Congratulations. The overall best scholarly thesis honorable mentions are Anea Cezanne Caro Rosario. <laughs> Get Your Own Stuff, The Colonial Canon and the Subversive, Subversive Art of Appropriation. That's the ATM, Arts Text Media Concentration, with thesis director, Professor Lindsay Davies. And Luna Bell Vaso, a raindrop in arranging fire, soft power as a tool for Japan South Korea reconciliation. That's the PRD concentration, politics, rights, and development, with thesis director Peter Diamond. <laughs> and then we have the overall creative thesis award. The overall best creative thesis, Kaiko Donald, My Mother Mary, a documentary film capturing a story and spirit of liberty, revolution, and migration. That's <laughs> CCP, Critical uh, Cultural Production, with thesis director, Professor Amy Wilkinson. And the overall best creative thesis honorable mentions. We have Chisholm and Lama. <laughs> she was not buried, but planted. Critical cultural production, thesis director, Amy Wilkinson. And Lucas Allen's Alexander Harris. Hyperspace graduation. That's CCP again, and 
thesis director, Professor Suzanne Maria Menraj. Now we have the awards for the different concentration. Um, I will just read off the awards. For the Scholarly Thesis Award, the best ATM thesis, Anea Cezanne Caro Rosario. <laughs> Honorable mention, Madison Choi Xing Cheng Tripovsky. Spheres. Okay. And the other honorable mention, Soraya Ali. <laughs> then we have the Critical Creative Production Awards. The overall best thesis award was Kaiko Donald, My Mother Mary, a documentary film capturing the story and spirit of liberty, revolution, and migration. The Honorable Mentions, Chisholm and Lama, and Lucas Alexander Harris. For the Scholarly Thesis Awards, the CCP Best Thesis, we have Tomina Tang, translating Eileen translating Chang's The Jasmine Tea, interpret, Interpreting Culture Through Translation. Thesis director, Professor Wilkinson. And the honorable mentions, Hadley Crow and Sanaya Garcia. Now for the cultural and social identities, the scholarly thesis award for the best CSI thesis, Perrin Brunel, Queer Constellations in the Big Easy, Making Space in New Orleans. Thesis Director, Professor Mitra Rostigar. And the CSI Honorable Mention, Rachel Mormon Mitten, Social Hygiene, the Ecophobic Unconsciousness and Memory in Reserva Ecologica, Costanera, Sur, and Fresh Kills Park. Uh, with thesis director, Mitra Rostegar. In the Law, Ethics, History, and Religion, LEHR, the Scholarly Award for Overall Best, for best Thesis in LEHR, Natasha uh, Kozman, Our Morals Are Worth More Than Donated Dollars, is Singer's Solution to the Problem of Absolute Poverty the best solution. Thesis director, Professor Philip Washburn. The LEHR honorable mention is Diaria I. Nat. Yeah, Diaria Nat. Sorry. and uh, subject and reality, religious metaphysics and a critique of Lacanian theory. Again, Professor uh, Washburn, thesis director. <laughs> Politics, rights and development, the scholarly thesis award for PRD, Luna Vaso, a raindrop in a raging fire. Soft power is a tool for Japan, South Korea, reconciliation. Thesis director, Professor Diamond. <laughs> PRD honorable mentions, Reese Jessup and Anna Hackle. <laughs> the thesis directors there were Brendan Hogan and Professor Joyce Absol. Thank you. Then we have sustainability, health, and the environment. First year for our uh, she concentration, 
the Scholarly Thesis Award, Best Thesis, uh, Maura Grace Durkin, Made in Italy by China, <laughs> Human Impacts of Globalization on the Mar Modern Garment Production in Prato. And again, Thesis Director, Professor Jenny Naro Maciel. And the two honorable mentions, Samantha Daddy, and Devin Speak. Sorry if I messed up some of those. There's a lot there, but all of these theses are fantastic, and we are so proud of our students. In fact, every student who completed the thesis, that is, all of the GLS graduates, did an amazing job. Let's hear it for everyone. And now, the moment you've been waiting for, Molly Martin, our pro Professor Molly Martin, Associate Dean of Academic Affairs. So the students will come up by the time. Yes, we will. Um, <clears throat> so we are going to do the individual presentations of degree candidates at this point. So we will call students by row. We have assistance from academic advising and student affairs staff. So please follow the cues, um, but we will have you come here to this side of the stage. Um, you will then uh, receive a stole from the dean and there will be a photo opportunity, and then we'll ask you to proceed to the other end of the stage where the banner is for a second photo opportunity. So there will be plenty of photo opportunities <laughs> throughout this procession. So we, um, Sophia, if you could help, we're going to start, uh, and we're going to do the students by concentration alphabetically. So we will start with the art, text, and media concentration. Rhea Petra Claire Pendergast. <laughs> Anais Caro Caracheo. Johanna Von Pollard. <laughs> Soraya Ali. <laughs> Aya Oda. Sophia Martinez. <laughs> Madison Chang Tripashevsky. <laughs> Camille V. Jolicoeur.
Lisa Cochran. Emily Kurekis. Sierra Stead. <laughs> Johanna Wilhelmsen. <laughs> Cho Yu Wang. Mohamed Alani. <laughs> Marin Krampert. Krampert. <laughs> Kai Kabori Hotchkiss. Adam Michael Lee. <laughs> Genevieve Carlson. Jackson Heiler. <laughs> Brendan Mark Donahue. <laughs> Lucas Alexander Harris the first. Sabina Tingley. <laughs> Hadley Crow. Sophia Letson Etin. Trinity Rivas. <laughs> Alexander Hathaway Gomez. <laughs> Wei Kuo. Thank you so much. Yujing Zheng. <laughs> Yitian Tang. <laughs> Nicole Lecker. Keiko Donald. Yeah. 
Randa Jumin. Matthew Kang. Chisholm Inalama. Jane Beck Polikoff. Soraya Garcia. Anna Julia Chiriboga. Jada Men. Karen Brunet. Thank you. Bridget Lipster. Gabriela Lozano. Aaron Zubarik. <laughs> Louis Alexander de Gaspo Bodin. <laughs> Xavier Anthony Lord Drew. Danielle Kathleen Fleming. <laughs> Natasha Kosman. <laughs> Nicholas Lindeco. Diari Nath. <laughs> Jordan Newton House. <laughs> Megan Polomini. Carolyn Baca. Cora Petzold Interline. Michael Elogiamento. Fatima Balu. <laughs> Fa 
Sabia Khan. Maya Nicole Vargas. Giovanna Solomon. Alexander Sunabria. Mastan Diap. Crystal Calder. Rita Ali. Isabel Grant. Margaret Davis. Anna Calliope Hackle. Thank you. Isabel Ann Vordery. Hannah Lauren Schacht. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Hale. <laughs> Alexandra Hanover. Trishti Supta. The Gupta. Anastasia Guzenko. <laughs> Hannah Nublam. Caroline Doran. <laughs> Rachel Mormon Minton. <laughs> Luna Vaso. Sarah O. Oh. <laughs> Sophia Suk. <laughs> Brian Cardine. Andrew Kaler. <laughs> Elaine M. Kelly. <laughs> Ch 
Reese Dylan Jessup. Ricardo Crisantis. Chance Pudin. Malika Kirkwood. Isabella Gonzalez Montilla. Jarrett Lash, and he's being stolen by trustee Jeff Gould. Sinyi Zhang. <laughs> Anna Kignotze. Rogelio Lugo. <laughs> Cher Peng. <laughs> Tom Tang. Layla Sayanath Me. <laughs> Anne Fulton. <laughs> Siri Joyce. Samantha Dady. <laughs> Monique Pryor. <laughs> Mora Grace Durkin. Jacob Malden. <laughs> Elena Torres Cicle. <laughs> Devin Speak. Avin Jamal. So let's give one more round of applause for our graduates. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you.
And let's hear it for Professor Martin. She did a great job. <laughs> Not easy. I want to thank everybody on the stage party, our professors who are here with us today, who are really those folks responsible for all of the incredible achievements of our students and our advisors and our student life staff, everyone in liberal studies who is part of this incredible family that helped to nurture our GLS grads. And then, again, the parents, guardians, friends, partners, all who have played a critical role in reaching this day. Let's congratulate everyone again. And now, before we conclude today's ceremony, I would like to invite Rita Ali, this year's GLS Student Speaker Competition winner, to the podium. Rita was nominated by members of the GLS community to deliver remarks at this year's ceremony and was ultimately chosen to speak by a selection committee composed of GLS faculty and staff. Rita. Okay, hello, how's everybody doing? <laughs> Thank you so, so much, Dean Mostov. Um, I'm so happy, my heart is so full as we reach the end of this ceremony. Um, I just want to say welcome and thank you to all the graduates, families, friends, my mom, my dad who are sitting in the audience, all the professors. I mean, who would have thought a year or two ago that we'd all be sitting here together when the pandemic was going on? Or even if we were, if we would all finish our senior thesis. So I just want to, you know, give it up for all of us one more time. So before I share my reflection, I just wanted to say how grateful I am for everybody who kind of played a part in the GLS experience. I'm firstly grateful for our families and our, the people who took care of us and who sent us to NYU four years ago to embark on this life-changing journey. I was actually in the rehearsal room before this, and um, another man was in the rehearsal room, and he was like, I was talking to him, and he said, you know, today you should tell your parents that you're grateful for them because they don't hear it enough. And that was Jeffrey Gold. So um, I just want to say, you know, take a moment to appreciate your parents and give them a round of applause too. I'm grateful to our professors who sat through trying to figure out how to make someone a co-host on Zoom for the first, for the first semester of COVID, um, who, who taught us so much despite all the challenges with their passion and their drive for educating. So thank you to all the professors. Um, if we could have a round of applause for them as well. And I'm so grateful to all the staff and the organizations who have played such an important role in cultivating our passions here at NYU. I really want to shout out our advisors and my advisor, Leah, my senior thesis advisor, Patricio Navia, and also the people who really played roles in helping us grow at NYU. One of those who actually came to attend today um, was a chaplain and a professor at NYU, um, Dr. Sheikh Fayaz Jaffer, who is in the Wagner School. So I just want everybody to think about one or two people who really impacted their time at NYU and thank them after the ceremony as well. Um, and so I'm here today to share a few words and a reflection with all of you as we leave GLS. Um, I see all of you dressed head to toe in robes looking exactly the same side by side next to people who may be immensely different than you who applied and received a violet envelope that brought you here. Tears and laughs, papers and drafts, class on Zoom, attending college from our rooms, COVID tests, the best of our moments happened unexpectedly. We were brought to a campus, a city that was asking and imploring us who we are and what we will do, and in exploring the answer, we began our journey. 
taking classes, learning about human rights and ethics and history and climate change, papers and lectures, page after page, analyzing text, we flew through classes that made up the next four years as NYU students. A few days into college and we felt invincible, unstoppable, experiencing the knowledge of the globe in our classroom. We try and retry, we create and recreate, we learn and unlearn, turned by events that we would have never expected, tested by a world with complex problems that require complex solutions. Global studies tells us to take our classroom into the world, and a classroom means the world when your students are tuning in from across it. Whether it was an array of chairs spread six feet apart or a collection of stairs through a screen, we truly learned what it means to be one campus in one world. If there's one thing we've learned, it's that we don't need a rubric or an outline to how we define what we want the world to look like after what we want the world to look like after this. Because a refugee looks for a home, a child seeks education, a nation recovers from war, a city pours their anger into racial injustice, and we are trusted to prepare in our classrooms because education is indeed the passport to the future, but it's up to us to book the flight. And as we are leaving this campus that we have called home for so long and weaving our way into a larger world, we are walking into countries that are changing, a society that's rearranging, and the problems we'll be facing may seem nothing short of frustrating. But if there's one thing we're taking away from our experience, it's the ability to use our imagination. Unencumbered, unrestricted, determined in the pursuit of change, because for far too long, studies of the globe have forgotten a whole half of it. So as we move on with this certificate, I want you to promise me that we will be passionate and persistent. We will be advocates and show resistance. From Ukraine to Palestine, we will remind ourselves that far too often, voices get lost in our textbooks and curriculum. So as we cross this stage, we take our imagination with us into a world that so desperately needs it, breaking boundaries and rethinking the systems and institutions that we've been a part of for so long. As we walk out, the sight of a city before our eyes reminds us that we are so unstoppable, yet so small, all at the same time. But the key, my friends, is imagination. A great man once said, you may believe you are a small entity, but within you is the entire universe, and our time at NYU has taught us exactly that. And so I implore you to understand what this means now. We have gone through so much, and I can promise you there is so much more to come. Four years of building a toolbox that is now ready to be used, improved, and viewed by the world. It's time to pour the universe inside of us into the work that we do. As a child of two immigrants, I am ready, as I hope you all are, ready to think of a world as we travel and change and imagine and read, a world where we will get that green light that Gatsby once dreamed of, we will achieve those dreams that Martin would speak of, we will create that change that we are in need of. As we commence into this next chapter, we intensely rethink our systems and our institutions and find solutions to the most abstract problems by using our imagination. Imagination. We think of a world where equity, accessibility, and equality are not anomalies. Rather, they are a part of the visions we see and the truths we believe. Let us look at today as not the beginning of the end, but the end of the beginning. So as we leave NYU, I remember those first few days feeling unstoppable, invincible, finally visible in a world that is finally mine and finally ours. I ask myself and you all those same questions. What does engaging with the world mean as we take our lessons with us? Imagine the craziest answer, the wildest dreams, the boundaries you want to break and the places you want to find, the risks you want to take and make the stars in your universe align. Prepare yourself for the struggles you want to face and embrace them, because now is our time. Class of 2022, as we commence, we've brought the world to our classroom. Now let's bring the classroom to our world and reimagine it in any way that we want and make it ours. Thank you.
That was wonderful, so exciting. Um, I want to just take a moment to thank our trustee, Jeffrey Gould, for being here with us today. It is quite an honor to have a, mo a member of the Board of Trustees with us, and we thank him for his support of Global Liberal Studies. And now we're going to have a word of it, information from our fantastic Associate Dean of, of Students, John White. Let's hear it for John White. Take it away. Thank you all. So this will be your final test in college. Um, we have some instructions as we close out the ceremony. So we are going to begin the, the recessional out of graduation. We will start with the platform party. The platform party will be dismissed by Rose um, and we'll walk up the house right aisle um, all the way to the top and be guided out. Um, after the platform party has left, we will start with the first row of graduates and we will dismiss you also walking out house right. Um, we will be taking the faculty, platform party, and graduates all to Washington Square Arch, where you will march through the arch. Um, and then we invite you to take a quick right and circle back so that you're facing Kimmel um, for a, a full class photo. So we're going to have everyone march through the arch individually, and then we're going to keep you um, for just a moment while we organize a class photo. Um, so please participate. We will ask kindly that all um, family and friends remain in the auditorium just until we get all of the graduates cleared and out into the park. At that point, I'll make an announcement and all family and friends can leave um, and go join your graduates in Washington Square Park for some additional photo ops. So that is the process, make sense? Perfect, okay. So congratulations again to the class of 2022. Um, it's w been wonderful working with you these years, and we really are very proud and can't wait to see what you do next. So with that, we will start. We will have the first row.
Okay. Yeah. That didn't matter.